Welcome back. She is known as the queen of plot twists. Oh. In Reef Road, readers are taken on a journey to learn more about a decades-old unsolved murder of a young girl inspired by a real-life crime that affected her family. Okay. Deborah Goodrich-Royce joins us to share more on Reef Road, which was recently named one of the best books of the year by Kirkus Reviews. Thanks for joining us, Deborah. We appreciate you. Oh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> Thank you. Deborah, congratulations on the recognition. Yeah, huge. Thank you. Yeah, it's, I'm going to pinch myself for a while on that one. <laughs> Tell us more um, about the case mentioned in your book and then uh, the personal connection that you have to it. So in 1948, a 12-year-old girl was murdered in Pittsburgh. This girl happened to have been my mother's best friend. My mother that very day walked home from school with her, and she tells me that, you know, walking home, they were talking about their Christmas pageant at their church, and they talked about whether they were going to practice that weekend or not. And that night, this little girl was left home. Uh, her parents went bowling. I think it was not so unusual in 1948 to leave a 12-year-old home alone. There was some talk of my mother going over there that night, and my grandmother kind of randomly said no. And when the parents returned, uh, the child horrifically had been stabbed 36 times. And this has remained an unsolved crime to this day. And as you can imagine, it had a profound effect on my mother, and I would say by extension, me. Yeah, absolutely. It would. Wow. Makes sense. So where, is that where, maybe writing crime no novels, a little bit of inspiration from uh, that story growing up? I think so. I, I think what happens uh, when something like this happens in your vicinity, it changes the range of what you think is possible. And so I think it changes the way you think, the way you look at things. And I've always been attracted to mysteries, to identity secrets, to those kind of puzzles. Uh, I, I like probing uh, into what's going on underneath the surface. Certainly. And this being such a personal story mm. for you, can you talk to us a little bit about your writing process for Reef Road and what that was like? So in March of 2020, you know where you were. I happened to have been in Florida. I was on a book tour for my first novel, Finding Mrs. Ford. The world shut down. Uh, I sat in front of my computer and I thought, I'm going to finally research that real crime. And I was shocked to find out how much material there actually was on the internet to do with it. You know, I don't know who the gremlins are who go back and upload all these old newspaper interviews. So I really delved into that rabbit hole. I was able to get the coroner's report. I spoke to the Pittsburgh Police Department. They were not very conversational with me. And as I was putting together all this material, I decided to write it as fiction. I wanted to probe this concept of generational trauma Epigenetics is a term that's out in the culture now. And I felt fiction was a better place to kind of get to the truth of what was going on, uh, to, to who we are and how we're affected as human beings. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. So we set you up as being the queen of plot twists. <laughs> and I'm just curious as to if you know what your plot twist is going to be when you start writing a novel. Question. I have an inkling of what a twist might be. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to get there. My process is kind of evolves as I go along. I take copious notes. My notes often take the form of questions like what if this and what if that and what if he's telling the truth? What if he's a liar? What if she's this? What if she's that? And as I start writing, uh, I'm sure you've heard other writers say this, the characters do surprise me and you know, we'll see if I get to the twist I thought I was going to get to. <laughs> right, yes, and sometimes yeah. you learn a bit more through a reveal as well. Yes. Can you maybe educate us on the difference between a reveal and a twist, and which do you find is more satisfying to an audience? Great question. So a reveal, um, you can think of Agatha Christie as, as the genre that would 
uh, give you the reveal. You're in a, a locked room setting. There's a cast of characters. One ends up dead. Somebody else did it. And at a certain point, generally, a detective reveals who the killer was. So you know what the crime was. You just don't know who did it. And that is suddenly presented. A twist is a little different. You are going along in the story thinking one thing is happening when all of a sudden the rug is pulled out from under you and you realize something completely <coughs> different was going on. And a great example of that would be The Sixth Sense, that film, the little boy who said, I see dead people. And Bruce Willis is the psychiatrist dealing with the kid and boom, you, you suddenly realize, wait a second, this is not what I thought. Ah, I see, I see. That's great. Yeah. All right, well, it is a new year. A lot of people looking to add books to their list. Reef Road should be one of them. Here it is right here. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely.